Hello once again. This is your professor, Danny Araneta Cabulay, for the course Accountancy Research. We are now in week number four. This is video lecture number 18. And we will be talking about statement of the problem. Paano ba mag-isip ng problema para sa research? Ito yung tipong ayaw natin ng problema, di ba? Pero sa pag-aaral natin, ito talaga yung magdadasal ka sa Panginoon. At sasabi mo, Lord, give me a good problem to solve. Okay? So we need a problem. Problem definition or problem statement, as it is also often referred to, is a clear, precise, and succinct statement of the question or issue that is to be investigated by the researcher with the goal of finding an answer or solution. In short, ano ba yung mga nakikita nating problema sa company, sa industry, or sa profession? Okay? So, yung mga problems na yon can be solved by research. I told you that one of the main reasons why we research is because we want to find solutions to our problems. It is very important that symptoms of problems are not defined as real problem. Yung sintomas no, ng problema, hindi yan yung problema. So, kailangan i-distinguish natin what is a symptom and what is a problem. Yung symptom, yan po yung ating naoobserbahan. Yan yung nararamdaman natin, nakikita natin, naririnig natin. Pero kailangan busisiin natin mabuti para matumbok natin ano exactly ang problem na gusto nating ma-solve. Okay? So, you will have to find the right answers to the wrong problem. That will not help. You have to find the right problem first. Hence, it should be recognized that the correct problem identification is extremely critical for finding solutions to vexing issues. Existing business problems where a manager is looking for a solution. Yan. Paano ba tayo makakita ng problem? Yan. Merong existing problem, yung manager naghahanap ng solusyon. Situations that may not pose any current problems, but which the manager feels have a scope for improvement. So, okay naman tayo, pero we want to be better. So that could be a problem too. How can we be better? Areas where some conceptual clarity is needed for theory building. And then situations in which a researcher is trying to answer a research question empirically because of interest in the topic. I will give you some samples. No? Uh, here is an example of how you formulate a statement of the problem. First, let's look at the problem. Then we look at the symptoms, and then we state the problem, okay? The problem is organizational structure and information systems, okay? That's the problem. What is the symptom? Poor decision-making by managers. Yung mga managers, mali-mali ang desisyon kasi hindi maganda ang structure ng organization sa yung information system nila. So what is the statement of the problem here? To what extent do organizational structure and type of information systems installed account for the variance in the perceived effectiveness of managerial decision making? Okay. Now, the second one. Problem, effect, problem is effectiveness of new advertising campaign. Alam ba natin kung effective yung mga ads natin? TV ads, for example? What is the symptom? Poor corporate image. Hindi maganda yung imahe ng company. Pangit. Okay? So, what is the problem to be stated? To what extent has the new advertising campaign been successful in creating high-quality, customer-centered corporate image that was intended to produce? Okay? So, nakatulong ba sa imahe ng kumpanya yung mga ads? To what extent? Here's another problem. The impact of a firm's overseas operations. Halimbawa, meron tayong mga branches sa abroad. The symptom, unstable image and value of the company. So, hindi gumaganda yung imahe natin kahit na meron tayong mga branches abroad. Kung baga, sa Pilipinas, stable ka, pero sa abroad, yung mga branches mo, hindi masyado successful. Parang Jollibee, no? Dito very successful ang Jollibee sa Pilipinas. Pero sa Hong Kong, yung Jollibee doon hindi masyado successful. Kasi maraming kalaban. Okay? So, what is the statement of the problem for this particular problem? 
Thus, expansion of international operations result in enhancement of the firm's image and value? Yan. Yes or no ang sagot dyan. Through research, we will find out. Then, here's another problem. Relevance of price and quality as purchase criteria. No? So, yung mga bumibili ng produkto, uh, ano man tinitignan nila? Quality ba o presyo? Okay. What is the symptom? Unpredictable market purchase behavior. Hindi, ma, hindi maintindihan yung market, paiba-iba ng isip, mahirap i-predict. So, what is the statement of the problem? How do price and quality rate on the consumer's evaluation uh, evaluation of products? Okay? So, that could be the uh, problem that you want to state, to, to study. No? Then, we have another example. The problem, moderation of adverse effects of participative budgeting. The symptom, strong opposition to participative budgeting. So what is the statement of the problem? Is the effect of participative budgeting on performance moderated by control system? Okay. So that's a problem you want to state. Then another problem. Return on investment in innovation and technology. Gumastos tayo ng napakalaki sa isang bagong machine na high-tech. Ang tanong, mababawi ba natin yung ginastos natin dyan? Yan. The symptom, overspending on technology. Bili ng bili ng mga bagong high-tech equipment. Pero nakakabawi na ba tayo? Nasusulit ba natin? So here is the statement of the problem for this particular problem. Does better automation lead to greater asset invest per peso of output? Yeah. So that's how you, you will have to compute. Okay. Then we have another one, another example. The problem is lack of clarity in revised 10-year business plan. The symptom, high level of anxiety and skepticism among employees. Yung mga tauhan medyo aligaga. Okay. So, parang malabo yung plano ng company for expansion, for example. So, here's the statement of the problem. What are the effects of downsizing on the long-range growth patterns of the companies? Okay. Then, another example. The problem is inadequate information on action plan to create a data warehouse. The symptom too many confusing proposals from vendors and contractors. So what's the statement of the problem? What are the specific factors to be considered in creating a data warehouse for a manufacturing company? Okay, and finally, let's look at the last batch of examples. The problem, willingness of the oddity to correct the declared fire loss. Symptom, huge discrepancy between reported and actual fire loss. So what is the statement of the problem? Is the understatement of the fire loss material enough to warrant a qualified audit report? Okay, so that's for an audit report. And then lastly, this is the last example now, provision for long-term financing for government projects. The symptom, skepticism on continuity of long-term government projects between administrations. What is the statement of the problem? How will the series of long-term government projects of the Department of Public Works and Highways be funded in the future? Okay, so I gave you lots of examples. I hope you will be able to come up with your examples too or apply them in your projects. Here's the case study I want you to solve. It's called Tribung Maharlika. A restaurant offering Filipino cuisine has been struggling on a downward spiral. Ibig sabihin, habang tumatagal, pababa ng pababa ang kanilang revenues at pababa ng pababa ang kanilang profitability. Magmula nung nagsimula sila noong 2019. 2019 sila nag-start January. Its average food cost ranges from 42 to 69 percent. Ibig sabihin, napakataas ng food cost. Ano ba yung acceptable? The acceptable food cost in the industry is averaging 30% to 33%. Ang ibig sabihin, pag pumunta tayo sa restaurant, nag-order tayo ng spaghetti carbonara, ang nakalagay sa menu 
ang presyo ng isang platter ng spaghetti carbonara ay 240 pesos, ibig sabihin, ang food cost niyan, 33%, more or less. Yan yung industry standard. What is one-third of 20, 240 pesos? 80 pesos ang halaga ng mga ingredients na ginamit para mailuto yung isang plato ng uh, spaghetti carbonara. So, yun ang standard. Kasi pag more than 33% ang food cost mo, pwede ka nang malugi. Dahil syempre, meron ka pang labor cost, meron ka pang overhead, etc., etc. Kaya kailangan, 30 to 33% is the ideal. But if it's lower, it's better. If it's higher than that, medyo delikado yun. Baka wala ka nang tutubuin. Okay? Mahirap ang business na restaurant, right? So look at the picture. Napakasarap. Yan ang kanilang signature dish dyan sa restaurant na yan. Okay? Now, aside from uh, this information, napag-alaman natin na itong nakaraang tatlong taon, eh, lugi na pala talaga sila. Noong 2019, negative 2%. So wala pang break even. Negative 2% ang kanilang profit or net loss. Okay? Negative eh. So it's net loss. Then in 2020, last year, during the pandemic, negative 28%. At ngayong 2021, dahil, dahil napakadalas ng lockdown, ini-estimate na negative 65% ang kanilang net loss. So pababa ng pababa. So bagsak na bagsak na talaga sila. Aside from being closed for most days because of the pandemic, maraming lockdown, right? Pilferage was also seen as a major culprit for the continued losses of the restaurant. Yung mga empleyado, nagnanakaw, nag-uuwi sila ng pagkain, ng mga ingredients, nagpupuslit sa kusina. Is that good? Of course, that's bad. Stealing is bad. Mahina ang kanilang internal controls. Kakutsaba rin siguro yung gwardiya no? na dapat nag inspect ng mga bags ng mga empleyado coming in and getting out of the restaurant. Now, the owners sought the help of a consultant. Humingi sila ng tulong sa isang CPA. Na, Tulungan mo naman kami, sir, to solve this problem of our restaurant. Okay, may problema talaga silang malaki. Okay? Here is what you're going to do. Please answer in the comment section of the video lecture, this particular video lecture, identify the main problem. What is the problem? Identify the symptoms or at least one symptom. Formulate the main research problem of the restaurant. Yung statement of the problem. Okay? In the form of a question. Kasi ang question, ang SOP, laging question yan, di ba? So, formulate the SOP. So, the answer is only three-liner. Ito yung format, no? Problem, symptom, SOP. Okay? The complete statement of the problem. So answer that in the comment section. So this is now the end of video lecture number 18. I will see you in video lecture number 19.